about state events, businesses, and from the people behind them on The Megacast, an hour-long TV, radio, and streaming show keeping you informed on the day-to-day -day news. Listen in on talks with volunteer groups, documentarians, and financial advisors, Monday to Friday with your host, Tyler Keeft. Catch The Megacast weekdays from 10 a.m. to 11 on Civic Center TV, 89.3 Lakes FM, and streaming on MyMyTV.com. Wondering what to say to someone who's been sexually assaulted or abused? I believe you. I'm so sorry this happened. It's not your fault. Confidential and anonymous help is available at the Michigan Sexual Assault Hotline. Connect with us 24-7. Call 855-VOICES-4 or text 1-866-238-1454 for help. Learn more at michigan.gov slash voices4. Let's savor these moments, made possible by the COVID-19 vaccine. Keep the dining out going by keeping yourself protected and your COVID-19 vaccines up to date. Can I ask you a question? Why do you want to get the COVID-19 vaccine? I don't like getting sick. The virus will die. It will be easy to not catch it. Keep my family safe and keep playing soccer. Because I love being vaccinated. What's your hope for everyone? I hope everybody gets the vaccine. To keep safe and strong. Be like happy, having fun everywhere. Everyone stay safe and hope you get the vaccine. Get ready for the Splash Live, Greater West Bloomfield's dedicated update show. Events, businesses, and people. Anything and anyone causing a ripple in the community. And now, let's dive in to the Splash Live. Good morning and welcome to the Splash Live. It's not Civic Center TV on a sad day as we're here to tell you today about the passing of one of our great leaders in West Bloomfield, Pastor Jack Freed. I'm standing right now in front of a Holy Spirit church here across the street from West Bloomfield High School, uh, where, uh, you know, on Sundays, he had some time, of course, with Pastor Freed. But it was his contribution to the community at large that made him such a special person. Uh, on the show today, we're going to hear from a number of people who were close with Jack here in our community. And and when you say uh, people that are close to Jack Freed in this community, I, I, I could have a thousand people on the program this morning to talk about the life, the contribution uh, of Jack Freed, Pastor Jack Freed, including my own personal stories. We'll get to that this morning and much more um, here on Civic Center TV on this very had a special day as we uh, recognize the, uh, the life and the amazing impact of this amazing community leader, Pastor Jack Green. First of all, let's uh, take a look at the things that we do each and every day here on The Splash, and that starts with welcoming you. Thank you very much for tuning in to our 90 Minutes of Live programming each and every Monday through Friday on Civic Center TV. It starts with The Splash Live, very local programming, and then we transition into the Megacast. Tyler will be here at 10 o'clock today uh, with more programming, all local programming for you. Easy to watch our channels um, and our programs all across a wide variety of outlets. That starts with Civic Center TV on Comcast, Channel 15 on AT&T. Uh, at and subscriber, you'll notice that there is a menu system you need to use. So just go to West Bloomfield or Kegel Lake or Trump Lake, select your community. You can also watch us on civiccentertv.com. And that is a great place to go to be able to see all of our programming. We are there each and every day. And you can catch all of our programming uh, and also then go back and see a lot of archives. If you go there today, you're going going to see a, a link and a tribute to Pastor Freed, and you're also going to see a, a half an hour video that we put together a couple of years ago um, that will tell you better than I can today here 
uh, some of the story about this great community leader. So go to civiccentertv.com often and you can watch us. We're also on social media today, uh, on Facebook, on YouTube, and uh, the radio station right across the street. We are I'm working on our transmitter today. So no 89.3 Lakes FM today, but we're working on some upgrades and some maintenance to make sure that the radio station is there for you. So um, thank you very much for being with us this morning. We are going to talk to Pam Zajak, who um, worked with uh, Pastor Reed, uh, Fried, Fried on, um, on uh, the Michigan Week event, which we do every year. And Pam just was so involved, is so involved in the community. She'll have some uh, great thoughts for us. We're also going to check in with our West Linfield Township clerk, Debbie Binder, who we caught up with yesterday over at West Linfield Township Hall, briefly after the news uh, came out. And then we are going to talk to our chief of police. Of course, Chief Mike Patton will be checking in here on the program as well. Right now, let's take a look at our weather because that really is the other big story. And uh, I can tell you, being out here, it's pretty cold out here today. Uh, 20 degrees. I believe that. It is downright chilly right now. Uh, we're only going to get up to 26 today. And then we've got this big storm moving in. Starts to move in tomorrow. We'll move in Friday. We are going to have high wind of precipitation. Uh, stay very close to all of your weather outlets to make sure that you get all of the information. And if anything uh, should happen, any emergency information that we need to share with you, we will have it right here on Civic Center TV. But again, get ready for some very nasty weather moving in and staying with us all the way through Christmas. So the news of uh, of, of the of the of Pastor Jack Freed came out yesterday, and we all received it in an email, like a William. And uh, let me read that to you right now. It's with heavy heart that I write you today to inform you that Reverend Jack Freed passed away early this morning. This was yesterday, at 95 years old. Jack is pastor to the West Wilmington community since 1969 when he founded. Holy Spirit Lutheran Church behind me, and was one of the founding members of the West Bloomfield Clergy Association, the work which we carry on today. He had also co-founded the Michigan Week event and the West Bloomfield Optimist Club, and had been the chaplain to not only the West Bloomfield Fire Department, but also the Westfield Police Department. He sent his blog, Winning Words, to many members of the West Bloomfield community and beyond in the years since his retirement. One of the most recent blog posts is posted uh, with this message. But if you want to see all of Bill's amazing blog posts, all you need to do is go to Civic Center TV. We've got a direct link to his posts. And I looked at some of them yesterday, by the way, and uh, he's been posting uh, up right up to the um, days of his passing. Um, but uh, go go check that out. At some point, Jared will put a link on um, on our website. Back to the letter. Uh, Reverend Bill Matlick, current pastor of Holy Spirit Lutheran, was with Jack and his family at the time of prayer and communion only hours before his death. Jack was at peace. There is so much more that can and will be said about Jack, but for now, um, this message says from Monica Williams, Reverend Monica Williams, that we wanted you to know this beloved West Bloomfield leader had passed uh, beyond the veil of death so that you can keep his family and friends in your thoughts as we will this morning. Um, we are going to take a quick break. We'll be back in a minute. When we return, we are going to hear from the West Bloomfield Chief of Police, Mike Patton, and we are also going to hear from our West Bloomfield Township Clerk, Devender. That comes up in just a minute. Don't go away. You're watching The Slash Live. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. Can I ask you a question? Why do you want to get the COVID-19 vaccine? I don't like getting sick. The virus will die. It will be easy to not catch it. Keep my family safe and keep playing soccer. Because I love being vaccinated. What's your hope for everyone? I hope everybody gets the vaccine. To keep safe and strong. Be like happy, having fun everywhere. Everyone stay safe and hope you get the vaccine. 
And now, back to the splash, live! Dave Scott back here on the Splash Live on Civic Center TV on this very sad and somber occasion uh, after the news just came out that we lost one of our real leaders in our community, Pastor Jack Freed. I'm here with West Bloomfield Township Clerk Debbie Binder. Uh, your thoughts on this sad day? It's a very sad day to lose Pastor Jack, but it's also a time to reflect on 95 years of a wonderful legacy that he left for West Bloomfield Township. He made his mark everywhere in our township. He started, you know, was a founding pastor at Holy Spirit. He founded the Michigan Week Breakfast. He was a founder of the Optimist Club. There are so many things in West Bloomfield that have his name on it, including an award for Michigan Week. So I, as much as it's sad, at 95, I'm celebrating that he has a tremendous legacy that he's leaving us to always honor. Well, and, you know, and a personal legacy for me, because uh, Pastor Jack Freed was a good friend of my mother, Agnes Scott. And, you know, as I re-engaged in the community, you know, he was there with a warm embrace after my mom passed away. Um, and always there with a warm smile and a kind word and taking the extra time to tell me stories about his interaction with my mom, which, you know, is just like the perfect thing to do. He, um, the consummate pastor and and community um active person in the community always there for everybody in this community he would end a conversation with i'm so happy you're my friend and you just i don't know the feeling you got when he said that to you you want one person from the moment i took office i never wanted to disappoint was pastor jack <laughs> and you know that, that 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 weighed in a few times on decisions but I, I, I always knew, and if I didn't know, he let me know that he thought I was doing a good job. But again, to know that he, I, you know, I was his friend and he was my friend and his wife, Joan Thrallo, is a really special person too. She's going to keep a connection to West Bloomfield Township. He just left an indelible mark on every single person he interacted with. He, he was that kind of a, a man. He believed in humanity. He had tremendous integrity. He believed in, 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 in community. And he worked tirelessly toward making sure that West Bloomfield had a common mission, whatever all the diversity was. I really think he was the forefather of bringing all of the different communities in West Bloomfield together. And, you know, and look at what a leader he was because, you know, he couldn't have known when he first came to West Bloomfield that this would end up being such a diverse community and that footprint that he left for us and the, the education that he gave us in that direction, um, extremely useful. You know, just, um, you know, you always say nice things about somebody when they pass, but it just comes out really easy when you talk about Pastor Jack Freed. He, you know, and I hope this is okay, but, you know, he, he kind of like is a Mr. Rogers kind of character. Everybody loves him. And I wouldn't just throw that out about anybody. I, I, I think it that says an awful lot. He was a very special person. He really was. You are so right, Dave, that, that he just was always happy. Definitely a Mr. Rogers comparison, but just a wise person who always had an encouraging word, a positive word, and a smile and a greeting for everybody. It is a big loss for the community, but also a big reminder of how we should all live our lives to make Pastor Jack proud and to model the, the, the values that he brought to life and to our community. You're right. When you talk about the, the you know, when we talk about representing diversity, he started the clergy association, which really brought all those communities together. So that was one of the things I forgot that he founded, but that continues today and still brings all of our different groups and communities and our faith-based organizations together to, to meet and to plan so that everybody is considerate and learning from, you know, we, we foster relationships between those communities that creates the appreciation of diversity that we have in West Bloomfield Township. And um, also provided the role, help me here if I get any of this wrong, um, we didn't have any time to prepare for this, but I, I believe also the chaplain 
of the fire department, correct? And um, and I think he was there, and even this is over on the police side, I think he was there um, in service in that role uh, during the, the sad passing of, of Officer O'Rourke. And, you know, and he, he was there through that and there through, you know, certainly a lot of challenges over in the fire department and, you know, just, um, you know, serving so many roles during different parts of his life, but certainly um, very active in our community. If you look at all the changes that the community has gone through and all of the, the good times and the bad times, the one constant has always been Pastor Jack. Absolutely. And with our um, very significant work that we do with Michigan Week at, at Civic Center TV, really a, another um, just huge contribution he made. I know I know you mentioned that earlier, but uh, just worth emphasizing. Uh, Clerk Binder, anything else you'd like to add? Just that, again, remind everybody, live out the values and the, and the purpose, the purpose-driven life that Pastor Jack had every day. I know that I will take a little piece of him every day when I wake up and think about it and make sure that I live my life how Pastor Jack would want me to. Our West Bloomfield Township Clerk, Debbie Binder, will be back with more on The Splash Live in just a moment. We'll be right back with The Splash Live. Watch Civic Center TV with our brand new live captions. To turn on live captions, go to civiccentertv.com and click Watch Live. In your web browser, click on the Options tab in the top right and find the Accessibilities tab. Then just switch on live captions to heighten your enjoyment of our local programming. Thank you so much for watching Civic Center TV. And now, back to the Splash, live! Welcome back to the Splash Live. Dave Scott here at West Bloomfield Township, all joined now by West Bloomfield Police Chief Mike Patton. Sad day, uh, your chaplain for quite a while and just an amazing member of our community has passed. I'm sure you've heard the news. Yes, I have. It's a very sad day. Look, I'd be hard pressed to identify a person in West Bloomfield that has been here as long, has been as influential in the community, really. Uh, Pastor Freed was the not only the spirit of the community, but I also think he was the conscience of the community and all the lives that he touched, including mine. And, you know, what a, what a mentor he was to me and to others. And he was really involved in just everything that is good and decent in West Bloomfield. And we're really going to miss him dearly. We are. And Nick, can you talk a little bit about, because I was thinking about this earlier, about how he helped when we had the terrible loss of, of Officer O'Rourke. And maybe that was just one of those times that he was maybe maybe one of the most helpful times in his life. Well, it really was. And look, he would reach out during those times of obvious crisis and despair. But it's also the other phone calls that you weren't expecting from him, where he would be the one calling one of us saying, how are you doing today? And be, be mindful of all in his advanced years, what else was going on in his life, but he'd be calling me or others just, just to make check to see how we're doing. And that's what made him very special. Well, and I just think, uh, you know, just his kind, I, I was talking earlier, he's almost kind of like a Fred Rogers figure, you know, just kind, soft-spoken, but he had amazing power with his words and impact with them as well. He did. I mean, he, he, he had a point to what he was saying, though. So, I mean, Mr. Rogers was always Mr. Friendly, yeah. but Pastor Free would also be making a point about you should think about what you're doing. But he also, like, like I said, he was the spirit of the community, and he recognized West Bloomfield. And we would have a conversation with him that we talk about, like, the diversity of the community. And he always make the point, this is what I learned from him, it's not just the diversity, it's the inclusivity that we have in the community, that we welcome people here. And he'd be making that point about the richness of West Bloomfield. He really was the heart of West Bloomfield. And, and he certainly did so much to bring together all the clergy in our community as well. We think about his history, it goes back that he was one of the founding members of the Clergy Association, of our Optimist Club, of the Michigan Week Breakfast. And everything that we look at, the richness of West Bloomfield that we all go to every year, he was like the, one of the original seeds of all those kind of things. He really developed all those things in the community to the, uh, the, the richness that we have here. 
Chief Patton, thank you for your kind words. I appreciate it. Thanks, uh, well said, sad day. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Right. We'll be back with more in just a moment. We'll be right back with the Splash Live. What's happening around you? Hear about state events, businesses, and from the people behind them on The Megacast, an hour-long TV, radio, and streaming show keeping you informed on the day-to-day -day news. Listen in on talks with volunteer groups, documentarians, and financial advisors Monday to Friday with your host, Tyler Keeft. Catch The Megacast weekdays from 10 a.m. to 11 on Civic Center TV, 89.3 Lakes FM, and streaming on MyMyTV.com. Let's relish these moments, made possible by the COVID-19 vaccine. <laughs> Keep the festivals going by keeping yourself protected and your COVID-19 vaccines up to date. And now, back to the Splash, live! Good morning, thank you for joining us. Dave Scott here in front of Holy Spirit Church, right behind me, as uh, we are honoring the life and remembering Pastor Jack Freed, who passed away yesterday. Joining us now on the line is Pam Zajac, Pam, of course, very involved in the Michigan Week Committee and just about everything else going on here in West Bloomfield. And uh, Pam, it's a sad day, but it's certainly a day that we can celebrate and honor the amazing life of Pastor Jack Freed. Uh, I, I would enjoy your thoughts on his passing. You know, I, I met Jack Freed in 2007 when I joined the West Bloomfield Optimist Club, and he was a founding member along with Jeff Lieb. He was uh, always reserved, and he yet he had this authenticity and a sort of laid-back, quiet confidence about him. And I noticed immediately that everyone revered him. So I learned more about him through the years. Once I drove him home from a community event, and we talked at great length about family and life challenges, and that helped me to realize why he held the, this position in the community. Um, why he was so revered. Helping others and, and giving service. Hmm? No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt. We got a little delay because I'm out here live. Please carry on. I didn't mean to interrupt. Sure. Helping others and um, helping other people and giving service to them isn't required of us. After all, we're all given free will to choose whether or not we'll lend our time and ourselves to others. But Jack Freed chose to lend himself as a lifetime career. Even after retiring from being a pastor, he served as chaplain, we all know, for both the West Bloomfield Fire and Police Departments. And he referred to himself on LinkedIn, I found out, as an independent religious institutions professional. I thought that was an interesting uh, career choice. <laughs> Pam, thank you very much for being with us today, and I, I appreciate your thoughts. I just wonder if you maybe have some specific memorable moment uh, or some other memory that you'd like to share with us from all of your interactions with Pastor Jack Freed. Sure, you know, probably a lot of people in this community know about Jack's winning words that he, uh, he posted his morning blogs at about two minutes to five every morning. <clears throat> I loved giving them in my emails, and he would typically post a quote from a well-known author, a poet, a celebrity, or sometimes even a cartoon character. And I would often write back to him, and which I always received an immediate response. I, I have his book of winning words as well. Probably many people do here. But on uh, November 29th, just recently, he quoted Margaret Albright, who said, I'm not a fatalist. I'm an optimist who worries a lot. I'm a charter member of our community's Optimist Club, which began over 50 years ago. This is a quote from Jack. 
For half a century, we've been closing our weekly meetings by saying together the Optimist Creed, which begins, Prom promise yourself to be so strong that nothing can destroy your peace of mind. Try saying that over and over again during an election cycle, when someone you love is having surgery, when we see pictures and read about starving people in the world, or when a close friend unexpectedly dies. I'm an optimist, but I also have feelings. Is there such a thing as a realist club? So I wrote back to him. Maybe the line should read, I'm not a fatalist. I'm an optimist who worries a lot because I'm a realist. And he immediately wrote back to me. The reality is that it's hard to be an optimist in a pessimistic world. Well, there's no doubt. I, I'm so glad you shared that with us. There is no so doubt those of us in West Bloomfield will be quoting <clears throat> Pastor Jack Freed for years and years. And it is nice to be able to go online and and then the crew just put a uh, QR code up to uh, the, the link to Jack's Winning Words' his blog. It's right there right yeah. now. And if you, if you aren't familiar with it, we <clears throat> encourage you to go out and, and, and take a look at it. And uh, his words will live on here in West Bloomfield, no question about it. Uh, Pam Zajac with us. One of the other things that we have had an opportunity to work together on, you and I, at, and that Pastor Reed played sure. a pivotal role in, is Michigan Week. Uh, do you want to talk about his contribution to Michigan Week, uh, which is right at the core of that amazing event? Well, Carol Hack and I have co-chaired the Greater West Bloomfield Michigan Week Awards for several years. Uh, Jack Freed was one of the very first recipients of the Minuteman Award in 1972 as part of that newly created Michigan Week in West Bloomfield, which honors volunteers every year throughout the community. And it, and he served as our clergyman at each annual breakfast. Not one to ever miss a breakfast. Last year, Jack was out of town for our 50th anniversary celebration, but <clears throat> he made sure to call in via Zoom to give the blessing for the breakfast over the large screen for some 300 guests. The Michigan Week Committee designed a recognition to honor the legacy of Pastor Jack Freed, who, along with Jeff Lieb, helped create <clears throat> excuse me, the Michigan Week tradition in Greater West Bloomfield. So in 2020, the Michigan Week Committee created the Jack Freed Volunteer Service Award. This award honors an individual who is a newer leader of any age who demonstrates volunteer service in an outstanding way. We've been so blessed to have Jack Freed in our community <clears throat> and to have had his guidance throughout our Michigan Week planning every year. He is truly a pillar of this community. I love one of his recent blogs that gives me comfort now that he ended with, and who would have guessed that I'd be remarried in my 90s? Life, it's been <laughs> wonderful. Hey, I'm, I'm so glad that you took moments for us this morning as well. Um, you know, beautiful words. Uh, we will all miss Jack, but he'll be living with us every day for the rest of our lives. And and uh, this uh, is a, a story that we can't tell in a half an hour here in, in the early morning on the Splash Live. We will continue to talk about Jack forever, but certainly over the coming days, have mm -hmm. continued opportunity to have these discussions. I thank you so much. Very good of you to be with us and take time this morning. And uh, of course, uh, as I say to everybody in West Louisville, we are so sorry for your loss, but there's so much to rejoice with the life of Pastor Jack Freed. And thank you very much again for sharing some time with us this morning. Thank you, Dave. All right, so um, there you have it. You've heard from three of our community leaders this morning. And uh, listen, I could stand here live all day and uh, hear variants of those stories that you just heard. But uh, an amazing community leader, um, a friend to all, a a person who is so civic minded, and and took time even after his retirement to continue to communicate to all of us the, the very positive message which was at the core of who jack freed was so um we are sorry to share the news with you of the passing of pastor jack freed um and we will continue to um highlight his life in the coming days. If you go to civiccentertv.com, 
what you will find on our homepage is a link to a package that we put together. It's about a half an hour long that we put together a couple of years back. And there is a direct link right on the homepage with some of these images and a whole lot more. I, I really enjoyed going back last night and watching it. It's a great piece. And uh, it tells the story of Dak Reed much better than we can do here this morning. So I encourage you to go to our website, Civic Center TV dot com and there's a link right in the home page and and there you will find uh, all of this information and a whole lot more and of course we will uh, be talking to others over the next um, weeks uh, and and have of course more uh, uh, coverage of the contributions as uh, and our tribute to Jack Freed right here at Civic Center TV. So it's cold. I'm going to run along. Thank you very much for being with us. Live from Holy Spirit Church in the heart of West Bloomfield across the street from West Bloomfield High School and the home for so many years for Pastor Jack Freed. I'm Dave Scott saying so long. Have a great day, West Bloomfield, and we'll see you tomorrow morning right here on the spot. Civic Center TV with our brand new live captions. To turn on live captions, go to civiccentertv.com and click Watch Live. In your web browser, click on the Options tab in the top right and find the Accessibilities tab. Then just switch on live captions to heighten your enjoyment of our local programming. Thank you so much for watching Civic Center TV.